Thank you, dear Didis, for this wonderful kirtan on the start of this beautiful centennial celebration today. Now I'm giving the honor to uh, Rambhadra Prabhu uh, for Guru Puja Kirtan. Jahara Prash 
Thank you very much, Ananda Nidhi Ramhadra Prabhu, for this beautiful, beautiful kirtan and the start of this uh, beautiful centennial program today. Welcome to all people who just joined this online centennial program. We have a wonderful schedule today with uh, Sri Pipati Vranta Sridham Raj as our special speaker. But first we will switch to um, uh, Sita Devi uh, Didi, who is from Holland. She is a, a disciple from Srila Gurudeva Patil Narangushwam Maharaj. And she will enlighten us with her wonderful stories and um, wonderful experiences with Srila Gurudeva. So Sita Didi, are you here? Please unmute yourself. So yes. Yes, please, please click on unmute again. Yes. We can see you, Didi. Yes, you can start speaking, Didi, we can see you. Sita Didi, we can hear you and we can see you also. Yeah, it was all uh, good. Yes, you can start. Okay. Kan ik al wat zeggen? Ja? Oké. Okay. Haribo. Oké. Okay. Om Gyan Timaran Desha Gyan Gyan Anasalakaya Jaksu Militam Dena Das my Sri Guru Ve Namaha. Om Namo Vishnu Padaya. Radikaye Priyatmane. Sri Sri Mat Bhakti Vedanta. Narayana Itinamine. Vamcha kalpata rubasya, kripa sindu deva cha, patitanam pavnebio, vaisnavibio namo namaha. Vrinda ye tulasi deva ye, priya ye kesavi vasicha, krishna bhakti pradivevi, satya bhakti namo namaha. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gura Bhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I want to like uh, and offer my pranam and respect and respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Nitya Lila, Om Vishnupada, Bhaktivedanta Srila Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and my respectful obeisances to my Diksha Guru, Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Ban Maharaj, and to my Siksha Gurus, Srimad Bhaktivedanta Sridha Maharaj, and Srimad Bhaktivedanta Siddhanti Maharaj. And to all the respectful guests here present online. Thank you very much for your um, for, for this uh, invitation to speak today. I'm very, very honored and and I'm also not qualified to speak. So 
um, when I got uh, inv invited to Sassicala Didi in Premananda Didi, I was shocked. I said, oh, how can I talk here? You know, how can I say something? I'm not qualified at all. But I have a very, very beautiful experience to, to, to divide, to share with you about. My, ex my sweet spiritual father, Srila Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he is my savior. And uh, when I started my, my spiritual path, my sadhana, it was in, I was 16 years. And it was the first time that I met uh, the Hare Krishna uh, Society in Amsterdam and, and I was very impressed and uh, I received a very beautiful book in the park in Amsterdam, uh, the Nectar uh, Instructions of Srila Prabhupada Maharaj. And it was a very, very serious book. And uh, I read the book when I was 16 years and I thought by myself, oh, that is so beautiful. How can I be, how can I be once in my life a, a, a bhakti, a Krishna bhakti? I couldn't imagine. So I, 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 I left the idea that I, I could be once in my life bhakti. Um, and so life goes on and life goes on and on and on and many things happen. And then in 2003, I, I started to come back on the spiritual path. And then I was uh, through mantra yoga and uh, yoga, uh, my acharya at that time, she helped me to got introduced again in the bhakti yoga. And then in 2007, I, I, I started in 2004 uh, visiting the temple within Busan in Rotterdam, and he was a very sweet brahmachari. I love him very much. And he invited me and he shared with me again, all this beautiful nectar and this sweet merciful nectar of um, Sri Krishna Radharani. And then I started interesting again. And then he said, come, come to, with me to, 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 to Italy. I said, no, 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 so no, this, oh no, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And I said, yes, you are always ready. He said, no, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then when he came back from Italy, he said, oh, Maharaj, Narayan Goswami Maharaj is in Rotterdam. He's very close to your house. I said, oh yes, it's really true. I said, yes, he's very close, but five minutes walk. I said, oh, I want, and then I said, oh, I have to, I have to see. And then I went to um, Maya and Mogini and Sasikala's house with my daughter and we got Harmony now in 2007. And that was the most, most happy and most wonderful day in my life. So I met my spiritual master, my spiritual father, Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and he gave me Harinam. And then things really got very strong, very much bhakti and so much sukriti and everything. And then and I, was so, I was so overwhelmed by this beautiful love that I saw from his eyes. And, and he said to me, he said, now you are my, my my spiritual daughter, and how was your name? And I said, my name is Sita. He said, Sita, oh, how you got this name? I said, yes, I, I, I love this name. He said, yes, okay. So I will share, I will call you now Sita Devi. He said, oh, Sita Devi, <laughs> Sita Devi Dasi. He said, oh, that's so beautiful. And then, yeah, it was a very, very beautiful experience. And then in 2008, I want to share this beautiful story with you very quick. In 2008, I went, in 2007, I went to Parigram in, in, in Vindavan in Govardhan. And that was a very strong experience for me. And everything starts really moving in my heart. This, this love for Giriraj and this love for Radharani and for, for Krishna. And then I was so overwhelmed. And then I wanted to go to Navadvip too. So, Quick. And when I came back, I booked a trip to Navadvip. So I came back after Parikram in Vindavan in November. I quick, I bought a ticket for the Parikram in Navadvip. So it was very quick. All this security was coming and, and, and I was overwhelmed so much by love from Guru Bill. And then I went to Navadvip. So I came in Navadvip and I look around and said, what is Navadvip? I didn't know anything. 
I was so young and was like a baby, so pure and soft. And I didn't know anything about bhakti yet. And then I came in Navadvip and Navadvip was really overwhelming, this parikram and everything and so much love and devotion around me. And I was so overwhelmed. And then I thought by myself, I want to take care of a deity too. And I thought it is so beautiful. And then and, and another friend of mine, Tunga, uh, Tunga Vita, said, no, you're not qualified to take care of a deity. No, you have to study more and more. And said, oh, yeah, but I would love to take care of a deity. I said, no, you're too young. You're too, too, too new in the bhakti. And then said, oh, let me ask you a deal. <laughs> and then I was very naughty. And um, I was waiting for an, 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 a, a conversation with Google Dale at his house, and a very nice pink house in our trip where we were staying. And then I was going there, and then I couldn't get a, a, a conversation with him. I was very busy, so much devotees wanted to talk to him. And then I got through Brajanath Maharaj. He gave me a chance. He said, Come tomorrow morning early at three o'clock. And then I went there. And then I got a conversation with Guru Dale. And it was so beautiful because he was on his bed after his morning walk. And then I have some minutes, let me talk to you. And then he said, Guru Dale, um, I want to ask you something special. He said, what? what? What do you want to know? I said, I want to have a mantra. He said, mantra? I said, yes, please give me a, a mantra. But you have the mantra, you have the Harina mantra. I said, yes, but I want more mantras. He said, yes, but, and then Madhav Maharaj was there too. And he said, no, you have to take Diksha. You have to take Diksha. And he said, oh, Gurudev, please give me a mantra and let me take care of a deity. And then Gurudev say, said, what deity you want to take care of? I said, Ladu Gopal. Ladu Gopal, Ladu Gopal. Oh, that's very special. Explain to me, why do you want to take care of Ladu Gopal? I said, oh, yeah, because I read in the book that I can, that I can uh, cultivate uh, Vatsala Bao in me, you know, Vatsala Bao, you know, you know, like a motherly love for Krishna. And then this baby is coming in my heart and I can create this beautiful love for the baby Krishna. And then he said, oh, that's a very good answer. That's a very good answer. I said, yes, please give me the Gopal Mantra. And then Madhav Maharaj said, no, 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 no Gopal Mantra. <laughs> I said, please go, give me the gold command, please let me take care of it, and then I will buy this deity here in Navadvip. And then Gurudil said to Madhav Maharaj, get a paper and a pen and write down the mantra. And said, oh, Guru, oh, thank you very much, thank you very much. And please give me another mantra. He said, oh, you want too much. He said, he said yes, I want the Maha Prasad mantra also, because I want to make Prasad, because... I can't make prasad and then I can't offer prasad to my, to my friends and family and, and create this love for Bhakti, for Krishna and Radharani in their hearts. Oh, very good answer, very good answer. <laughs> and then he gave me two mantras and he gave me the Gopa mantra and the Maha Prasad mantra. So that was very beautiful. And then I said, now I will get this Vatsala bow in my heart and we'll prepare for my diksha. Uh, and then in 2012, I got my diksha from, from my sweet Guruji, Srila Bhaktivedanta Ban Maharaj. That is another very beautiful love story with my guru. I'm so happy with that. And so this is my experience with Srila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And um, this was so, so sweet. And then I met him in 2010 also. So it was so overwhelming this experience of getting the Gopal Mantra, that I'm still chanting the Gopal Mantra every day. And I have uh, Lada Gopal in my heart and Srila, Srila Narayan Goswami ever and ever again in my heart. So this is my experience. And I thank you very much for your, for your patience, ears to listen to my experience in Navajo in 2008. And I want to thank you for my possibility to talk to you and I wish you a very very nice afternoon and today to see uh, listen to the uh, beautiful mercy and uh, nectar for Hare Kattavitri Dharma Maharaj. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna. Thank you, Didi, for your sure. wonderful sharing of uh, the glories of uh, Sita Guru Dev. Um, oh, Shashi, you want to say something? Maybe Shashi can say something. Hare Krishna. Vijay, Vijay was saying? No, you, you, no, 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 you can say something. Thank you, uh, Sita Didi. Oh, okay. English. Uh, for your more believingness, English. Yeah, I'm at Gopal, and uh, oh, and with Lord Gopal, I uh, I forgot. I have to speak in English. Um, thank you so much uh, for the wonderful experience which you had with uh, your uh, with Srila Gurudo and in combination with Lord Gopal. Yes. And uh, sometimes she's bringing her Lord Gopal to our house. But then she uh, experienced also past time that Lord Gopal, she forgets to take <laughs> Lord Gopal at home. Yes. So then when she arrives at home, then she thinks, oh, how can I, could I forget Lord Gopal? <laughs> and each time Lord Gopal is uh, getting so many preparations here. So he's enjoying here it's together with uh, Go, uh, Giri Govardhan, which we have. Yes. Because Lord Gopal and Giri Govardhan, they traveled at the same uh, day to Holland. So that's why they are not separate. Uh, they are they always without, without any separation uh, with each other. So there's a past time for that. So I think um, Vijay Prabhu uh, will introduce to Sri uh, Sridhar Maharaj. Vijay Prabhu, is he there? Hare Krishna. So thank you all for joining this wonderful program. Uh, every two weeks, we are celebrating the centennial year of our beloved Sila Gurudev, um, a personality who um, has given lots of impression to everyone's heart. Uh, the person who got fortunate to associate with such a wonderful personality, they can share their, his prashadam to uh, the words, to the experience. And uh, it's always inspiring, although it is sometimes a little sharing just for a little bit for time, but still when it's coming to, uh, from our uh, heart um, and the surrenderness, what we, uh, what is shown to Sila Gurudev, uh, these words are inspiring many, many Jeevatmas, many persons uh, who wants to know and go deeper in how to approach uh, our Guru Dev, because it is very important, this topic, what we are discussing, um, it is said also mentioned by the Lord himself that the worship of his devotee is superior than the worship of himself, because by the worship of the devotee, one can get the mercy and the knowledge and uh, uh, also the practical information, how to surrender to the Lord. So um, most of the people who, some people who are not um, acknowledging the um, glorification of uh, Sadgurus, of very high Mahabhagwats, they are missing actually the boat yeah. uh, because the boat is coming to us. And when we want to reach the other side, uh, we can look at it, we can praise it, but without the uh, sufficient uh, facility, we cannot cross over. We cannot enter in the kingdom of God without the glorification of the sadhus. And that's why this um, uh, event of uh, this year, we are trying to organize this um, every two weeks. It's very important for the those who are very sincere on this part of Bhakti by uh, hearing the glories of the Vaishnavas, our heart will smelt, our heart will uh, be softened and surrenderness um, uh, mood, bhavna, will enter in our heart and we can practice this. So Sila Gurudev is very fortunate. Um, uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, we are very fortunate to come on this part of Bhakti. Um, some people can say we have missed the boat. <laughs> Yeah. Sila Guru Devas came here and he disappeared from our material vision in, 20, uh, in 2010. And many devotees came and get inspired uh, later on um, in the uh, uh, last decennia. And so the feeling is there that maybe we have missed the boat. 
by not getting the association of Sila Gurudev, but actually it is not true. Um, Sila Guru's, Gurudev's mercy is flowing. It's flowing like the Ganga. It's, not, it's never stopping. It's the person who get fortunate, they will um, um, receive the mercy and how he has actually arranged everything through his dear devotees. His dear devotees, like we have invited today, um, Om Vishnupad Bhaktivedanta Sridhar Maharaj, who in very young age, when he was 20 years old, he came in the month of Sila Gurudev. Actually, he was a bhakta uh, before he was 14 years. He came on the month of his own Sila Gurudev, Bhakti Surup Siddhanti Goswami Maharaj. And he served there for many, many years. And at the age of 20, he came to the lotus feet of our beloved Sila Gurudev. And Sila Gurudev, like other also other sannyasis, has uh, gave them shelter in a very special way. Like um, today, uh, Sita Devi was um, offering pranams to uh, Sila Gurudev by telling that my spiritual father, it's a very nice word actually. We are telling about the spiritual master is more distant, but if you say the spiritual father is more closer to your heart. But in that way also, like a father, a true father, he was guiding, he was giving shelter to all this and uh, their disciples and um, like uh, Bhaktivedanta Sridhar Maharaj and he was training them in a very wonderful way. Um, Sridhar Maharaj was a very exalted Vaishnava in our line actually and through uh, the mercy he he received from Sila Gurudev, through his mercy he is actually uh, giving that, sharing that to everyone who comes in contact with him. Um, persons who who met Bhaktivedanta uh, Sridhar Maharaj, they can acknowledge how simple and wonderful his uh, uh, character is, and how he's giving such a wonderful way. He's inspiring so many Jiva Atmas, giving them shelter. Like Sila Gurudev has trained him how to. Um, um, inspire and uh, create some Buddha with all this fallen soul and give them the, 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 uh, the instructions and uh, show him the way how to enter in this path of bhakti. He's very expert in this. And also, uh, and I personally have um, got the fortune to associate with him many, many times. And uh, he uh, personally gave so many instructions to, uh, to me and, and the instruction was all about how to preach, how to inspire, how to uh, enter in the legacy of Mahaprabhu in this preaching mission, and in which way, in which mood, and um, which topic we have to preach to all, everyone to inspire them. So in this way, he, he trained me actually for very intensively also, for many, many years also, uh, in a behind the scenes, actually, behind the scenes, he was always inspiring me. But I felt that this inspiration he was giving me, this instruction was not meant for me. I, I always was telling that why he is telling me all these things. There are so many other devotees who are more qualified to preach this mission. Uh, maybe it is better to to instruct someone else to to do this, but. Somehow or another, he always was telling, you know, um, one day you have to stand up and uh, share everything what you have received from, uh, from Sila Gorgunda Mrahaj you know, and um, also from our Gurudev and everything. There is nothing that you, you cannot take it for yourself. If you're only taking this knowledge and this experience and uh, behind the scenes, what I always was, um, that is not the way to practice, actually, if we enter in Mahaprabhu's mission, especially in Mahaprabhu's mission. There are many devotees who are wanting to be secluded and behind the scenes in uh, secluded places, uh, holy places, they want to do their sadhana. That is okay. But if you are, we as devotees are taking this mission of Mahaprabhu very seriously, then we cannot sit idle because like my Gurudev was always telling, 
what is the quality of your sadhana? What is the true quality of your sadhana? What is the quality of your Mahamantra? You are always uh, chanting every day. It's 16, 32 rounds you are chanting. What is the real quality of it? Um, so why they was asked, telling this? Because actually Guru Seva, Guru Seva is very important for us. We can sit idle and chant our rounds. That is good. That is the basic, that's the foundation. But when we enter into Guru Seva, like Bhaktivedanta Sridha Maharaj, he, his example, his biography is showing how he was doing uh, Seva for his Guru Deo. Actually, today I was listening to one lecture as he was giving, and he told me that, he told the, the, the audience that when he entered in his, uh, when he was very young, um, uh, he got so many seva to do at his mat of his Guru Deo, Bhisurup Siddhanti Kushwami Maharaj. And he was doing so many sevas, he was very expert in, 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 in uh, doing different, different sevas that he didn't have any time to chant his round. Sometimes he only got uh, time to chant four rounds a day because he was totally engaged in so many seva. But uh, Somehow or another, uh, by the mercy of his Guru Deo, um, the quality what he was chanting was, was there and so many knowledge came to his, uh, to, uh, and so many mercy com uh, came to, uh, towards him. That is not the siksha that we have to chant less rounds and do more Guru Seva. No, because we cannot imitate the Vaishnavas in this way. We are very fallen souls. We are Bada Jivas. And and our condition is different than uh, our Vaishnavas or Sadhus who are coming, who have taken birth in such a holy place like Bhakti Ranta Sridha Maharaj, who took praise, uh, birth uh, not far where uh, Sri Ramananda Roy had taken place, birth. Uh, it is not even in a dham he took place. So he was actually from childhood, from his childhood, he was a Vaishnava. So and we, we are actually coming from this Western world and doing so many abandonable things. Uh, and sometimes when we are here on this path after uh, so many years, we think that we are senior. We are equal to our sadhus. My sadhus is my god brothers. Uh, sometimes I hear this and I'm thinking, actually it is true from that point, point of view that we have shared the same Guru Deo. But please don't um, uh, think that uh, our sadhus are on the same level because we are thinking that now we are seniors because our sadhus is a different level. They are the hands of our Guru Dev. They are the true prashad of our Guru Dev. And when we want to taste Shri Guru Dev's mercy, then we have to take shelter to, uh, uh, to all the sannyasis. We have to take shelter and pray panam and ask them very humbly. We have to approach them and to ask him to shower some mercy to us. So that's why I'm very happy that uh, Bhaktivedanta Siddha Maharaj is always engaged in this mission of Mahaprabhu, always inspiring us. And he was the one who gave me the instruction to preach, to start the seminars. And I just follow his instruction just followed his instruction and I had believed in his instruction. I have full faith in his instruction and I was just carrying on his instruction. And through his, uh, this instruction, I saw how many Jew Atmas came on this path of Bhakti. I was totally amazed. I was thinking, Pandit was the vision of Bhaktivedanta Siddha Maharaj. He had got this vision many, many years. He was telling me this. And now I'm, now I'm, taking this instruction series, I'm, I'm practicing this instruction and I'm seeing what is the effect of his, of the Vaishnavas um, um, mercy. So how wonderful we have to thank. We have millions of millions of life. We cannot um, uh, pay back or, 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 or something like that. Uh, what we have received actually to the Vaishnavas. And that's why on this day, I'm also offering my Anantakoti Dandavats Pranam to the lotus feet of my Gurudev, 
Patiran uh, Narayan Goswami Maharaj, Patiran uh, Patita Pamachila Gorbinda Maharaj, and also Omishri Pata Sutra Sata Sishman Patiran Taban Maharaj, but also to my beloved Siksha Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pata, Sutra Sata Sisi Shivanthi Ranta, Sridha Maharaj, who mercifully attend, uh, is attending this program. And I'm begging him to um, shower his mercy to his words, to his experience, and uh, learn us how to surrender unto Guru Dev's um, uh, lotus feet. I'm thanking you all. Nam Chakao Paturo Vista Kripa Sindhu Bhya Vicha Patita Nam Pavinu Bhya Vaishnavi Bhya Namo Namah. Hare Krishna. Um, I'm seeing uh, Sri Patun and Sri Maharaj is in the meeting already. Uh, the devotee who is with him, please unmute. Ah, he's coming back again. I think they are starting up the connection. Just have to wait minute or so I think I think in the meantime when uh, Marhach is uh, coming back again we can do a small kirtan Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 
Thank you, Tarunu Gopi Radha Sundari Didi. Um, let's see if the connection is all right now. The devotee who is with Sri Pichrida Marhaj, please unmute. Marhaj is in India at the moment in Nawadweep. So. I think there are some connection problems. Shishikala Didi. Hare Krishna. Um, wow. Well, um, so there are connection problems in our dip. So until Marhaj is coming on screen, I will try to tell something. Om Gyana Timirandasya Gyan Gyana Salakaya Chikshuram Ritam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchaka Upatrubasya Kripa Sinu Devachi Patita Nam Pavani Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namaha First of all, I want to pay my hearty obeisances to my spiritual master, Nichalila Pravishnu Om Vishnu Pada Shila Narayan Goswami Maharaj and also the same um, to my um, Siksha Guru, Nichalila Pravishnu Om Vishnu Pada Shila Gorgunda Goswami Maharaj and all my Siksha Gurus, uh, also Shripat uh, Shridhar Maharaj, uh, who is about to speak today. So hopefully he will come online. I think he's coming and going, I'm seeing. So let's see. Um, maybe in between, Premanandi can contact uh, phone that uh, Prabhu, uh, the Sivaka of Maharaj, if they can go to another location there, where there is a, a connection. Maybe there, where the Samadhi uh, of Guru is somewhere, there are mostly connections. So in between, I'm trying to speak because now, uh, now Dvi uh, Padikram is about to start. And uh, so many uh, uh, Western devotees couldn't attend Navadvip Padikram. So um, uh, 
when in Shiva Gurudev's time, we, um, because this is the first time actually that we didn't attend uh, Shiva. Uh, is he again here online? Oh, Marhaj came. I'm seeing him. Survive. You can huh? continue until he uh, unmutes itself. I don't know if the connection is okay. So you can continue. Oh, yeah. maybe I should speak uh, to Marhaj. Yes. He's listening. Marhaj. Uh, start He left the meeting again. You can continue. Okay. Okay, so then I will continue uh, until he again comes. Um, so um, we had uh, lots of, uh, this is the first time that we couldn't attend Sri Navadip Hampalikram. So we are in separation actually from now to time. Um, during Sri Lagurdo's time, it, we experienced lots of pastime there. So it's a very merciful um, place to be. Um, is he there? Yes. Marhaj? Hari Bol. Marhaj? Hare Krishna. Abaj aari hai? Haan. Bani aska. Abaj aari hai? Haan, Marhaj? Aara hai. Kabi kabi कभी कभी यहां इंटरनेट कनेक्शन सही नहीं रहता है कभी चला जाता है कभी आता है अच्छा अब आवाज बढ़िया से है हम हम लोग आपके देख सकते हैं आपके दर्शन देख सकते हो हां 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 अभी क्या कथा सुनाएंगे का क्या कथा सुनाएंगे तत्व के बारे में सिर्फ आप कैसे गुरुदेव से मिला और पास टाइम गुरुदेव के साथ उसके बारे में उसके बारे में कैसे आपके गुरु कैसे आप गुरुदेव के मिला or uh, past time Guru Dev ke jo na experience kiya. Okay, Hare Krishna. <coughs> ah. Oh, 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 my Gyan Timbram Dasa, Jana Anjana Salakaya, Chaksur Unmilitam Jena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama. Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namunam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Kauru Bhakta Brahari Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Rama Hare Sarapratham Nitya Guru Padma Padma Nitya Lila Pravishram Vishnu Pada Shukar Sadar Sri 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 Madhu Bhakti Thirup Siddhanti Goswami Maharaj ke charna samala mein anant kodi sashtang dhanavat pranam karta. Tatpasyat Guru Padvarma Nitalila Prabhupada Vishnu Padvarta Sri 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 Bhakti Vedanta Sri La Narayana Goswami Maharaj ke charna saraja mein Sraddha Puspanjali arpana karta. Upasthit Samastha Vaishnava Vaishnavi Aur Haranava Sivakumbha Krishna हरि बोल आज आप लोग सुनाए कर रहे हैं हरि बोल वो लोग सुन रहे हैं मेरी आवाज एक तब में वो लोग सुन रहे हैं मैं नहीं सुन पा रहा हूं मैं बोलता हूं कि आवाज कोई आवाज नहीं आता है इधर हरि कृष्ण महाराज हरि कृष्ण हरि बोल हां सुनाई पड़ रहा है सुनाई पड़ता है मगर आपके सुनाई पड़ रहा है कनेक्शन उतना नहीं अच्छी नहीं है मगर हां कनेक्शन अच्छी ना सुनाई पड़ता है हम्म सुनाई पड़ रहा है ना सुनाई पड़ता है बाकी मैं आपके नहीं देख सकते हैं बोल सकते हैं <laughs> क्या करेंगे देखेंगे मेरे को नहीं देख देख मेरे को देख नहीं पा रहे
Shishi, misschien kan je even verder uh, gaan totdat uh, Marhaatje weer terugkomt. Ja, je moet ontmoeten. So in between, uh, I'm trying to continue also um, trying to speak something, maybe also um, um, about Sheila Gurudeo, I think. Oh, Sheila, see the Sheila again came, I'm seeing. Yeah. Moet hij wel ontmoeten dan? On, uh, Harry Bol, uh, can someone unmute? Uh, unmute uh, she could see, uh, but, so we cannot hear anything. En dan moet hij zelf doen, natuurlijk. Maar Haj, heb je Awaj niet hier aan te Kan de devotee hier zo met Trieden maar Haj unmute hem? Oh, oh. You can continue, Didi. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. So, um, and she, uh, so now um, she put uh, Sridhar Maharaj is now at home. So the connection is not so good. It seems that it's not so good, but uh, he's still trying to come. So in between, I'm trying to speak. Um, something uh, re regarding um, related with the pastime of Sheila Gurdil. I think um, one time um, I'm, uh, it was like that, that um, we were doing Navadip Dham Palikram, but uh, at that time be uh, before Sheila Gurdil, he um, didn't have that big temple, which there is now. And uh, so one time there was a very big tent there. So, so many like thousands, 10 thousands, uh, Devotees were there at the Palikram, attended the Palikram. So uh, actually now at Deep Dham, uh, there are, uh, Nawa is nine, there are nine islands. And so um, there are like uh, a flower has also um, like in the middle of the load, uh, it is a um, shape of a flower. And in the middle part of that flower, that is Shumaya Pur Dham, where uh, Mahaprabhu uh, also appeared there. There was a tree there, a neem tree, and that's why his name was Nimai. So, um, and Srila Gurudev's, um, uh, where we have, are having program is Koladvip. That is not different from um, uh, Govardhan. This is the same as Govardhan in Gupta form, in the hidden form, Govardhan is present there. So it's very um, great, those who attended a Navadip program to be there, because the uh, nine islands are, um, Surrounded by Ganga Jumuna Saraswati, the whole rivers are there. So it is very nice. Uh, they, uh, those who are there are doing pilgrim, uh, um, uh, walking with uh, barefoot. They are uh, attending, they are going from one island to the other barefoot. Uh, some, some are wearing shoes, but uh, it is very long walk. And uh, so one time, uh, but now uh, we can see there is a very, um, a uh, big temple there, which we Guru has built there. But before there was, wasn't, a, we didn't have that facility. And uh, so uh, one time Guru Deo, uh, 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 just during Navadip, they made a very big tent there. So uh, people made there a very big tent so that people could uh, um, uh, attend the program there in the tent. So um, one time what happened, there was a very uh, big storm came there. And uh, and but and also that uh, day, because there, what is uh, like ice came also from the sky even, yeah? so there was there was lots of wind like Indra, Indra they like Giri Govardhan, so Indra didn't want it, the Brajavasis to uh, do the offerings eh, to Govardhan in that way. I don't know. I think Gurudev said that Indra some sometimes uh, sometimes he is um, creating a um have work yeah have work some uh, yeah yes problems so, uh, problems so uh so that day um uh, we were about to uh, attend Navadip uh program uh, programs uh like harikata programs and then there was a big storm and uh, the tent which was there collapsed 
and uh, actually uh, at that time it was after actually the program yeah it was after the program and so and um, 10,000 uh, devotees actually are attending but that day there was no accident actually when the tent collapsed and uh, so uh, many people uh, they got in panic and uh, so and I was there uh, staying um, in a guest house nearby so when I heard so uh, we rushed there we rushed there with our family there and our devotees also holland devotees to see what was going on and we saw we were shocked to see the state <laughs> so that um the tent was uh, collapsed and uh, we thought uh, maybe there are people there in uh, and they have as uh, who maybe are injured yes, yes. so uh, so we were looking in each corner to see if there were uh, devotees underneath the tent so it was so that um, uh, you know with the sad mood we were searching and to see if we could help someone and then uh, later on we saw, uh, find out there was uh, that there was no one inside there luckily so there was and there was one uh, old lady who got hurt some but it was not a big issue actually it was a small thing that she got so by the mercy of Sheila Gurudev everything went all right. And so after that, um, um, we, um, we uh, didn't have anything here huh, for doing the pro program. So then um, uh, in the late till late night, um, uh, I was there together with Sri Pat uh, uh, So we were there, I remembered him, and there were lots of bamboo sticks because um, the tent was supported with long uh, bam bamboo sticks. So um, me together with Sri Pat uh, uh, he was uh, holding one bamboo at the other side. I was holding the other side because it was heavy, and we were putting everything uh, aside. So I'm seeing that she put Sridhar Mahaj is there already, but until he speaks something, so I will continue. He's not unmuted. He's unmuted. No. So um, yeah. So that uh, and then um, so all the bamboo sticks we put it aside. And, and then later, um, so many um, uh, Bengalis were there without any shelter. They didn't have any place to stay. Those who came from the West, they had their guest house, but those uh, poor um, uh, Bengalis who were, uh, who were uh, sleeping underneath the tent, they had nothing uh, to stay, uh, no place to stay. So uh, what happened uh, uh, in the nighttime, we were arranging for them facility to stay because where we were staying, we had, uh, there was a big house, uh, it was a big building. So we asked many uh, Bengalis also to come and, and uh, take shelter there. And until the next day, then again, they built the tents and everything was again back to normal. Uh, so these kinds of things, uh, uh, adventure you can experience when you're there. So you don't know what can happen each day there. And like one time we were doing Palikram. Oh, is Marhaj there? Yes, we are going to unmute him. Okay, Marhaj? Hare Krishna. Marhaj, okay. Marhaj, you will translate in the after you want to translate in the future. So, will you translate in the future? We will do it. No, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do Continue <laughs> Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Triyadvaita Gadadhar Srivasandhi 
गौर भक्त वृंद बोल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 बोल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे सर्वप्रथम हरे गुरुपाद पद्म लीला प्रविष्ण विष्णु पाद स्त्रोत्र श्री श्री श्रीमद भक्ति श्री रूप सिद्धांति गोस्वामी महाराज के चरण कमल में अनंत कोटि साष्टांग दंडवत प्रणाम कर तत्पश्चात मेरी शिक्षा गुरु पाद पद्म लीला प्रविष्ण विष्णु पाद स्त्रोत्र श्री श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत श्रील नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज के चरण कमल में श्रद्धा पुष्पांजलि अर्पण करता उपस्थित समस्त वैष्णव वैष्णव युग को जथा योग्य प्रणाम करता हूँ हरे कृष्ण आज हम लोग ये जो साल है ये विषय साल है क्योंकि इसी साल में गुरु जी के सप्ताह भी है तब तो गुरु जी की नहीं तो उनकी अविर्ण मूर्ति श्रीला भक्ति वेदांत श्रीला नारायण बामन गोस्वामी महाराज का भी ये जन्म जन्म शताब्दी इसलिए दो दो महापुरुष का ये जन्म जन्म शताब्दी है इनकी जन्म सप्ताब्दी को उपलब्ध करते हुए संपूर्ण पृथ्वी में इनकी महिमा संपूर्ण पृथ्वी में जा रही है इसलिए हमारे श्री नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर कहते हैं वैष्णव गुणगान सुनी ले जीव रहा जब वैष्णव का गुण चरित्र को हम श्रवण करते हैं उसको क्या होता है जीव का उधार होता है बोले क्यों उधार होता है इसलिए महाप्रभु स्वयं से क्या दिया महाप्रभु जब तोटा गोपीनाथ में गदाधर पंडित से कथा सुनने जाते थे प्रश्न करते थे बोले प्रभु आप आज क्या सुनना चाहते महाप्रभु स्वयं कहते मेरे को भक्तों का चरित्र श्रवण करा क्योंकि भक्त चरित्र को श्रवण करने पर उनका जो भजन आदर्श है भजन का जो परिपाटी है जब उसको श्रवण करते हैं हमारे हृदय में भी कई से भावना आती है हम भी जीवन में ऐसे साधन भजन करें और गुरुदेव जो हरि कथा सुनाते हैं गुरुदेव क्या हरि कथा सुनाते हैं वो अपना जीवन चरित्र को ही वो सुनाते हैं जैसे श्री नारद जी उन्होंने जब श्री व्यास देव को कथा सुना उन्होंने क्या कथा सुनाया बोले व्यास देव जीवन में मैं इतने बड़े साधु बना तो कैसे मैंने साधु इतना बड़ा साधु बना फिर उन्होंने अपना जीवन चरित्र को सुनाया मतलब है कहते अगर आप जीवन में वास्तव रूप में साधुत्व को लाना चाहते हो वैष्णव बनना चाहते हो क्या करो ऐसे ही अपना जीवन का साधन भजन को आप इसी तरीका से करो गुरु जी की सेवा ऐसे करो वैष्णव की सेवा ऐसे करो इसलिए जो गुरुपाद पद्म है वो अपना अनुभूति की बात सुना इसलिए गुरुदेव का जन्म शताब्दी हम लोग बड़े सौभाग्यवान और हमारे गुरुदेव जैसे हमारे गुरुदेव कौन है हमारे गुरुदेव पर कोई साधारण व्यक्ति नहीं जिसको स्वयं राधा रानी स्थापन करती है ये मेरी एक सखी और एक मंजिल राधा रानी स्वयं वृंदावन में स्वयं सपना दिष्ट करते हुए गुरुदेव का मंजरी और एक अपना सखी रूप में राधा रानी स्वयं स्थापन किया ऐसे जीवन में एक महापुरुष को केवल अगर हमने दर्शन कर लिया केवल उनका दर्शन हो गया हमारी समझो हमारे जीवन धन्य हो गया बोले क्यों शास्त्र कहता है दर्शन पवित्र कर जब वैष्णव का हम दर्शन करते हैं कहते पुंस अखनो सभी उज्जता जैसे सूरज उदय होने पर एकदम उजला उजला हो जाते हैं जब हम वैष्णव को दर्शन कर लेते हैं तो दर्शन मात्र से ही हमारा जीवन कल्याण हो गया और ऐसे एक महान पुरुष महान संतों का हम दर्शन हुआ है हम तो कितने में ही हम समझ रहे हैं हमारा जीवन धन्य हो गया है भले ही कुछ हो न हो ऐसे वैष्णव का दर्शन हो अब गुरु जी हमने सुना गुरु जी स्वयं ये बात को बोले बोले जो मेरे सर, एक बार मेरे शरण में आ गए है जो एक बार केवल मेरे शरण में आ गए जितने जन्म तक लगेगा मैं उतना जन्म तक उसको उधार करने के लिए आऊंगा जब तक उसको मैं अपना धाम में भगवान धाम में पहुंचा नहीं देता गुरुदेव ये बात को बहुत बहुत बार गुरुदेव ने ये बात को स्वयं हम बोले अब विशेष करके जिनके हृदय में राधा दास्य ये जो चीज जिनके हृदय में जिनके कण कण में रमा हुआ जिनकी 
हृदय में और जिनकी कथा सुनो करके हमारे हृदय में भी वही एक जिसको भागवत में कहते हैं कैवल अज्ञम प्रयोजनम भागवत का प्रयोजन क्या है बोले केवल एक केवल एक केवल एक क्या है ब्रज भक्ति गुरुदेव कहते ब्रज भक्ति में भी क्या है ब्रज भक्ति में श्री राधा जी की ब्रज में तो बहुत भक्त सज्ञ दास वात्सल्य लेकिन वो बात तो श्रृंगार रस में भी इसमें सखिया पर किया इसमें पर किया में भी इसमें भी वहां पर चंद्रावली दल राधा रानी दल लेकिन हम किसकी पक्या है श्री राधा जी की पक्या होकर के राधा रानी के अनुग्रह में जो सेवा है कि हमारे लिए बहुत बहुत बड़े देन गुरुदेव का जो गुरुदेव के पास में आकर के हम लोगों को ये चीज क्या मिला ट्रांसलेशन करो Hare Krishna. Uh, today is a very special uh, year because it is the centennial year of Shri Lagurudev Shri Narayan Goswami. Sure, hello. So, <laughs> today, okay. Ab awaj aate marhaj? Ah. Ha? Acha. Today. Today is a very a uh, special year because this year uh, this year is a spe very special year because this year is a uh, is the centennial year of Shri Lagurudev. and also the 100th birthday of vaman goswami maharaj so uh, we have double feast actually uh, two in one and uh, we are um, uh, it is very important to listen to the uh, glories of um, sri la gurudev from the lotus mount of vaishnavas and uh, and because uh, we are getting delivered by that and by their mercy by hearing we are getting purified and um, and not only that we are also getting the desire to follow their example because by listening to their um, glories we are getting a, a, a greed um, uh, to uh, follow uh, their example and and to get the more um, strong in bhakti and um, and uh, we um, also we will uh, come to know how we have to do vaishnava seva and um, so uh, uh, shri lagurudev also uh, manifested his glory there and so in seva kunj there was also a pujari he also got got a dream that shri lagurudev um, uh, as a sakhi and majari um, uh, he asked uh, he, uh, him to go to shri lagurudev and uh, so there um, this glory is spread everywhere uh, um, about the dream of uh, that pujari and how the pujari also explains uh, who shri lagurudev was because uh, shrimati radharani king in his dream and say i you have to bring this to my um, dear uh, sakhi uh, shri lagurudev so and vaishnava darshan uh, is like a uh, sun uh, like when the um, uh, like uh, like the sun is arising huh? like a um, full with uh, a full jones and uh, and by that and that effulgence is getting uh, to us and the rays of that effulgence and and that is also beneficial for us and um else uh, and um and uh, those um so in in the in like shila gurudev's in uh, shila gurudev in his heart uh, he is a radha dasha so what is in his heart when he speaking hari katha that mood is also manifesting to the listeners to the uh, sadhakas so it is very important to listen to the hari katha uh, of shila gurudev how he was and how to listen for from excel to devotees like shri prasidha maharaj and uh, so so we will get spiritual benefit by that and um so uh, yeah what else um so uh and also um also it is important to know also about the parakya how the yeah, mood of um, uh, which is uh, um, during the ras lila which is also there in, uh, in the in the shri radha krishna past time marhaj ab continue krishna okay ha yeah, marhaj ha uh, abhi uh, maine kaise guru ji ko paas mein maine kaise aaya hai जब मैं जगन्नाथपुरी में मैं रहता था जब मेरे गुरुदेव चले गए अपना नित्य धाम में चले गए लेकिन मेरे मन में बचपन से बड़ी कंठारा थी 
बच्चा की थोड़ा संस्कृत पढ़े हमारे शास्त्र में थोड़ा प्रवेश हो थोड़ा हरि कथा हम सीखे पर बड़ी इस विषय पर बड़ी उत्कंठा रहती थी लेकिन गुरुदेव जब चले गए जगत छोड़ करके अभी मैं एकदम बचपन में मंदिर में आया हूँ चौदह साल उम्र जब मेरा था उसी पर में मैं बचपन में आया अभी मेरे मन में बड़ी उत्कंठा कथा सुने हरि कथा सीखे लेकिन वहां पर एक प्रभु जी रहते थे नंद नंदन प्रभु गौड़ी विधान समिति हमारे मंत्री को पास में कभी कभी मैं उनको पास में चले जाता तो वो फिर मेरे को बोलते थे कि एक बहुत बड़े साधु है तो मथुरा में रहते हैं जिनका नाम श्री नारायण महाराज और उसी समय मैंने मंदिर में रहते हुए सुना था जे अभी दो, दो महापुरुष है जो उन्नत वैष्णव है जो सुंदर हरि कथा बोलते हैं बच्चों को हरि कथा सिखाते हैं मैंने बोलते तो कौन है बोले एक श्री भुवनेश्वर में श्री गौरव गोविंद महाराज है गौरव गोविंद महाराज और एक है मथुरा में श्री भक्ति वेदांत से नारायण गोसाई महाराज अभी जो दो जो महापुरुष है वो बड़े सुंदर हरि कथा सिखाते हरि कथा बोलते अभी मेरे मन में भी इच्छा होता था कभी इनके पास जाए और हरि कथा सीखे इसलिए फिर मेरे को वहां पर है एक वैष्णव श्री नंदन नंदन प्रभु मेरे को टिकट काट करके मेरे को ट्रेन में बैठा दिया बोले जाओ आप मथुरा में चले जाओ और वही पर से नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज से जब मैंने वहां पर आए जब पहला बार मैंने जब भक्ति बता नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज को दर्शन किया इसलिए शास्त्र कहता है दर्शन पवित्र कर यही तुम्हारे गुण है गंगार पर सहले पश्चात पावन दर्शन पवित्र कर यही तुम्हारे कहते गंगा में जब स्नान करते तभी पवित्र बनते हैं लेकिन जब केवल वैष्णव को दर्शन कर लेते सचमुच से जो पहला बार मैंने गुरुदेव का मैंने दर्शन किया मेरे को तो लगा नहीं इस कोई इंडिया ने मेरे को लगा नहीं कोई विदेशी उनको जो नीली नीली आखी है बड़ी सुंदर जो नीली नीली आखी और उनका उस समय शत चातुर्मास था गुरुदेव का बड़ी सुंदर दाढ़ी था गुरुदेव का और उनका रंग कैसे है है का जो रंग है बड़ी सुंदर रंग उनकी एकदम तप्त कांचन गौरा की जैसे श्री राधा रानी को कहते हैं एकदम गौरव वर्ण के गुरुदेव थे बड़ी सुंदर गुरुदेव थे मेरे को लगा था ये तो कोई अंग्रेजी के हैं ये तो कोई लगता ही नहीं कोई भारत है इसलिए जब मैंने गुरुदेव का पहला बार दर्शन किया ना उस समय तो बड़ा अट्रैक्ट हुआ है तब गुरुदेव ने मेरे भावते के पत्र लिख करके मैंने भैया दिया दिखा दिया फिर उनको पढ़ाया फिर गुरुदेव के पास में फिर हम गुरु जी के पास फिर आए तब गुरुदेव ने मेरे को पूछा तुमको क्या आता है पूजा करना आता है ना रोसे वर्णन आता है ना कीर्तन करना आता है क्या आता है मैंने कहा गुरुदेव सब चीज मेरे को थोड़ा थोड़ा काम चलाने का लाइक मैं सब चीज हम जानता हूँ थोड़ी 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 जानता हूँ फिर वहां पर जो मैंने आया और गुरुदेव का जो साधन भजन हमने देखा बड़ा आश्चर्य गुरुदेव किसी समय किसी में गुरु जी की सेवा भी किया जब पहले में आया गुरुदेव देखता था गुरुदेव बाहर बैठ करके स्नान से पहले तो तेल लगाया करते थे मैंने तो नया नया आया था मेरे को हिम्मत नहीं हुआ गुरु जी को जाकर तेल लगाए हैं फिर गुरु जी का मैं गुरु भाई लगता था क्योंकि भक्ति प्रकार में सब गुस्वाई महाराज और मेरे गुरुदेव के दोनों गुरु भाई है ना गुरु भाई है होने का नाते गुरु जी का मैं गुरु भाई लगता था इसलिए मैंने कोशिश करता था गुरुदेव को जैसे तेल लगाए लेकिन मेरे को संकोच लगता था लेकिन मैं देखता था भक्त लोग आ करके तेल गुरु को लगाते एक दिन क्या हुआ गुरुदेव जब तेल लगाने के लिए बैठे मैं गया लगा करके फिर मैंने तेल लगाने जब चाह तो गुरुदेव तुम्हें तो गुरु भाई लगते हो है गुरुदेव तुम मेरे गुरु भाई लगते हो सिद्धांति गोसाई महाराज मेरे गुरुदेव एक ही गुरु जी का शिष्य है इसलिए तुम तो मेरे गुरु भाई लगते हो बोले नहीं महाराज गुरु भाई होने पर आप तो हम शिष्य नियर है इसलिए मैंने गुरुदेव को मैंने तेल लगाया जब तेल लगाया लेकिन मेरे बचपन से ही जब से मंदिर आया पूरी मंदिर में मैं था तब तो मैं बहुत सेवा करता था इतने सेवा में करता था इतने दिन भर सेवा करता था ये चार जो माला है ना बड़े कठिन से चार माला की तरह से हो पाता था इतना सेवा मार्केटिंग करा बर्तन मलना जगह साफ करना सबको फूल की माला बनाना है सब्जी अमोनिया करना चुना सेवा करता था दिन भर 
मेरे पास में समय नहीं होता जब मैं श्लोक भी याद करता था मेरे कभी याद नहीं आता है मैंने कभी बैठ करके मैंने श्लोक भी याद किया इधर माला बनाता था बाल माला बनाता था इधर में श्लोक याद करता था उधर हमारे मंत्री में नाट मंत्री साहब करता था वो दीवार में श्लोक लिखा हुआ था मैंने उस श्लोक को मैंने याद करता था मतलब और जब मार्केट ही करने जाता था उस समय में अपना हाथों में श्लोक लिख कर लेता था समय नहीं समय नहीं मेरे पास में हाथों में मैंने श्लोक लिख कर ले जाता था और श्लोक को साइकिल में जाता था मार्केट भी करने के लिए श्लोक को याद करते करते और जो मेरे चौबीस घंटा मैंने मेरे अंदर में बड़ी उत्कंठा रहती थी श्लोक याद करूंगा हरी कथा बोलूंगा श्लोक याद करूंगा अभी मैंने छब्बीस घंटा केवल श्लोक 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 रखता था इसलिए एक इसलिए जब मैं मथुरा में आया न जब मथुरा में आया जब मैंने गुरु जी को मैंने इसलिए जब मथुरा और और इसलिए जब मैंने मथुरा मैटी में आया और वहां पर है गुरु जी की जब भजन साधन गुरु जी को हमने देखा कैसे गुरुदेव भले ही जितने बजे गुरुदेव की नहीं सो जाए भले ही रात जन्माष्टमी को मैं देखा एक दो बजे तक ठाकुर देव सोते भी लेकिन फिर उठ जाते थे ढाई तीन बजे गुरुदेव उठ जाते थे बैठी करके हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गुरुदेव एक लाख हरि नाम पूरी करेंगे फिर जाकर गुरुदेव प्रसाद पाते थे एक लाख हरि नाम पूरी किया मगर गुरुदेव प्रसाद नहीं पाते थे फिर गुरु जी का मैंने निष्ठा देखा और गुरु जी की जो तेल लगाना जब मैंने पहला बार गुरु जी को जो पहले मंदिर में मेरे सेवा करने की आदत पहले था है सेवा करने की आदत इसलिए गुरुदेव को ना पहला दिन जब मैंने तेल लगाया इतने अच्छे तेल लगाया गुरुदेव को इतने सुंदर पूरा शरीर में आधा घंटा तो गुरुदेव को पूरा तेल को अच्छे तरह से बल बल करके गुरु जी को तेल लगाया गुरुदेव खुश हो गए मेरे ऊपर है पहले तो गुरुदेव अपने आप थोड़ा लगा लेते थे और नहीं तो कोई और थोड़ी लगा देते थे लेकिन मैंने उसको बाद में फिर गुरुदेव जाते थे सवेरे हरिनाम करके फिर थोड़ा टहलने जाते थे मणि गुआ करते थे गुरुदेव जब आते थे मैं सामने घर में बैठा रहता था गुरुदेव कब स्नान करने के लिए गुरुदेव कब जाएंगे फिर मैंने जा करके फिर गुरुदेव को तेल तेल लगाया करता था इसलिए मेरा तेल लगाना गुरुदेव देख करके मतलब गुरुदेव फिर गुरुदेव का विशेष फिर पाऊंगी फिर गुरुदेव जो हरी कथा बोलते थे मैं सामने बैठता था हरी कथा सुनता था गुरुदेव एक एक श्लोक सबको देते थे रोज रोज एक एक श्लोक देते थे गुरुदेव 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 वहां पर गीता का कॉम्पिटिशन भी कराया था पूरा गीता फिर करीब सात सौ श्लोक मैंने पूरा गीता की पूरा मैंने याद कर लिया था सात सौ श्लोक को क्योंकि गुरुदेव गीता के ऊपर गुरुदेव ये बोलते यहाँ पर ये होगा कंपटीशन होगा कौन गीता के ऊपर कितने सुंदर बोल सकता है हैं इसलिए ऐसे ही गुरु जी के मैंने तेल लगाया तो फिर माधव महाराज ने मेरे नाम पर एक श्लोक लिख दिया है बोले शिष्य सी सिद्धांत सिद्ध नारायण पर किया तैल मर्दन नित्य सेवा चाचा गुरु बजा तो उन्होंने मेरे ऊपर में मेरी सेवा को देख करके बोले जो नारायण गोस्वामी मार दिया तैल सेवा के नित्य गुरुदेव का तेल में लगा था है गुरुदेव को मैं तेल लगा करता था ऐसे ही गुरु जी के पास में और गुरुदेव बड़े प्यार करते थे गुरुदेव का इतने प्यार था गुरु जी के अंदर में उनको अंदर में एक विशेष गुण था ये विशेष गुण जब गुरुदेव किसको गुरुदेव जिस समय है किसको साथ में गुरुदेव बात करना इतने प्यार से इतने प्रेम से बात करते थे लगता था गुरुदेव मेरे को जितने प्यार करते हैं शायद और किसको इतना प्यार नहीं करते है इतना प्यार करते गुरुदेव मेरे को उनके अंदर में ये विशेष बात देखा फिर गुरुदेव का कपड़ा साफ करना फिर गुरुदेव जब सोते थे है गुरुदेव फिर मैं गुरुदेव का सर पर एक तेल होता है जिसको लगाने पर नींद चली आ जाती है तो वो तेल को गुरुदेव को लगाया करता था फिर गुरुदेव को प्यार दवाई करता था गुरुदेव जब सोते थे गुरुदेव के चरण की सेवा करता था हाँ ऐसे ही धीरे 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 गुरु जी को साथ में मेरा जीवन फिर जब कहीं गुरुदेव माधव महाराज अगर नहीं रहते किसी काम में जाते थे फिर गुरुदेव फिर मेरे को साथ में ले जाया करते थे बोले रसानंद चलो मेरे साथ में तुम मेरे साथ में चलो फिर गुरुदेव है जैसे वृंदावन में मंदिर बनता था रूप सनातन मंदिर तब भी गुरुदेव के साथ में हम दोनों फिर जाते थे मंदिर में जो बनता था रूप सनातन गौरी मठ उसको देखने के लिए हम जाते थे ऐसे ही गुरुदेव के साथ में हमारे 
बहुत दिन तक गुरु जी का साथ में फिर ऐसे हमारी जीवन सीता गुरु जी का साथ महाराज It was his guru deo he was a um, disciple of bhakti siddhanta saraswati prabhupad so when uh, when he was very young uh, age he came to him and uh, he learned um, uh, so he was teaching sanskrit also and shastras and um, by listening to his hari katha maharaj got very great yeah, for uh, learning more and more and so he when he was 20 years old he came to um, his guru deo and um and then uh, when his guru went, went to into aprakat lila then there was a prabhu his name was nandan nanda prabhu and um he lived nearby the mat and he said uh, to maharaj um that uh he was uh, because maharaj was very sad to to go to li- listen to harikatha so nandan nanda prabhu advised him to go to mathura uh, uh because um, narayan goswami maharaj is living there and he speaks pure uh, transcendental katha and in bhumaneshwar he was also uh, saying there was also a pure sadhu who was living there his name is sri gorgon dangoshwami maharaj so um, they are both speaking very beautiful hari katha so uh, so then uh, the desire in maharaj heart arose to listen uh, to um, uh, to go first to shila gurudev and uh, because i think uh, shila gorgon maharaj was also uh, for him was easy to go to shila gurudev so he went to shila gurudev and um, and then um because nanda nanda prabhu he also booked the ticket or the train ticket of marha so he went with train to um to visit shila gurudev and um he was saying darshan pavitra to etum hari gun ha darshan pavitra kore etum hari gun so he was saying that um uh, when uh, when he is also he was explaining that by uh, having darshan of pure sadhu it is very uh, purifying like um purifying like uh, you are taking bath in the ganga is purifying like that is also purifying to have darshan of pure sadhu so he said first time when i met sri lagurudev i thought uh, he was a western uh, uh, devotee because he was uh, looking very beautiful red light color skin and he had very beautiful blue um it intellect intelligent eyes he was saying and uh, so his skin color was so um, uh, light. light and it's like um, uh, 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 he was uh, tapta kanchan gorangi like uh, the color of um, radharani yeah, radharani has has also a um, golden uh, color and that's kind of color shila gurudev has had also so he was confused is he a western uh, marhaj and and uh, so he was uh, something confused and then uh, shila gurudev asked him when he saw him um oh, what kind of seva you are good in can you um, do you know how to cook and and uh, or what kind uh, or do you know how to do kirtan or are you good in um rasoi kirtan and prachar and in preaching so then um she could see her she was saying oh i know of each of the three things which she said something i know uh, something and then gurudev um uh, so then he was um, and then uh, he was engaged in all the three sevas and and, um, and after a while then um she uh, gurudev um uh, so he was engaged also in um massage shila gurudev so each time after shila gurudev took bath then uh, maharaj was uh, giving him a massage with oil and um so uh and then um one time amarhaj was also uh, because um uh, like uh, she put uh, sridhar marhaj his gurudev is um um bhakti swarup sidhanti marhaj and he is the god brother 
of um, Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. So that's why Madhama are saying, oh, you, uh, so Srila Gurudev was saying, uh, like, he's my um, god brother, I'm seeing him. So actually, Srila Gurudev didn't want to accept mas massage from him. And then, but later on, he accepted. And then uh, Madhama, Shri Madhama Maharaj was also um, wrote a slok hey, in, uh, in that slok. It was uh, mentioned uh, like, um, that uh, Srila Gurudev, uh, um, even though he is uh, like, uh, like a god brother in a parakya mood, uh, he is doing a massage, something like that. Uh, uh, so uh, he wrote a, a slok, especially for uh, uh, Sri Patsidhar Maharaj. And then, um, like, um, then he was, uh, um, uh, because uh, Sri Patsidhar Maharaj was uh, engaged in, in so many uh, sevas, he had hardly time to uh, um, do even, um, uh, chant four um, uh, four rounds. So then uh, later on, um, uh, he was also saying uh, in the beginning when he met his guru, Shiva Bhakti Surup Siddhanti Maharaj, it was uh, like, um, so sometimes he was doing um, seva, he was making garlands and in the ceiling of, or not on the, on the wall of uh, the mat of uh, Bhakti Surup Siddhanti Maharaj, uh, you can see those people who went there, they can see that so many slokas are written in the wall. So he, uh, while he was doing his service, he was also looking what was written in the wall, the slok, and in this way, he was remembering the slokas. So while doing seva, he was remembering the slokas and uh, by head. And uh, so each time he, uh, he uh, and in this way, when he, sometimes he was going with a cycle to the market and still the slok, he was remind, uh, remembering the slok while he was uh, uh, going to the market. So, uh, so in this way, he, so many slokas, he, uh, he um, uh, like 700 slokas, uh, he learned actually by head. And uh, so, uh, so, and each of like 24 hours he was remembering while doing seva, he was remembering the slogs in this way he could uh, recite so many slogs. And um, then, um, uh, when, but uh, like uh, in the beginning, uh, because he was doing uh, so many sevas, he couldn't uh, chant, hey, uh, what I said, just uh, he couldn't chant his uh, runs uh, fully. Uh, so uh, then uh, he saw the example of Srila Gurudev that uh, how Srila Gurudev was doing, um, teaching uh, uh, everyone by his own example, like uh, Srila Gurudev, he, um, he was uh, engaged in so many seva, but Srila Gurudev slept less. Like um, when he, uh, he, he stood up like two o'clock, uh, two a.m. in the morning, and then he was chanting, no, three, three a.m. in the morning, and he started to chant one lakh, uh, like uh, 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 Harinam, like 64 runs Harinam. And then after that, he was on in Prashad, and not before. So in this way, Marhaj was seeing in what way Shri Lagurde was doing, uh, you know, uh, uh, seriously chanting his front. So in this way, he also learned that to do. And in this way, he, he started to do also follow his example. And um, so Maharaj said, I saw how much Nishta Shri uh, Lagurde had in Harinam and for his Gurudev. So by, uh, 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 by uh, looking at uh, him and following example, uh, I, uh, I could also do uh, also like that. Uh, later on, and uh, and she, he said that Shri Lagurdeva was very happy when he applied oil to him, to his body, and uh, he he the way Marhaj did. Also, when he was going to sleep, also he was massaging his feet until Shri Lagurdeva fell to sleep. And uh, also, sometimes it was like that the Tripad Madhu Maharaj has to go uh, out for some um, um, some seva or some uh, responsibility. He had to go away. Uh, to another place, and then uh, she put Sridhar Maharaj. Um, he got uh, uh, the uh, duty to do seva for Shri Gurudev, like she put Madhu Maharaj doing. He was also doing like that, uh, taking care of Shri Gurudev. And Shri Gurudev had lots of loss, love and affection for him, and he felt like Shri Gurudev loves, loved him the most. But he said, actually, all disciples felt the same that Shri Gurudev loved me the most. So, um, and uh, yeah, that is, uh, and I think Marhaj can continue. Marhaj? Marhaj? I'll continue, Karshakta. Marhaj? Hare Krishna, call. Hare Krishna? Aba ja rahi hai? Ha. Hare Krishna. Aba, ab translation kar diya? Ha, ho gaya. Is liye, kati jo, amari jo Maharaj hai, in the under me, bohut, bohut, kuch unka under me speciality, speciality hai in the under me. 
बहुत बहुत स्पेशल क्या इनके अंदर विशेष गुण है इनके अंदर में एक विशेष गुण है इनके अंदर में कहते अयम नीज पर गणना लघु चेत साम कहते उदार चैत मना तो पशु भैव एक नित्य शास्त्र का श्लोक है इसका मतलब होता है जो जिसका हृदय बहुत छोटा है ना वो कहता है ये मेरा तेरा ये तेरा वो उसका वो इसका जिसका हृदय बहुत छोटा होता है लेकिन जिसकी हृदय बहुत उदार होता है हैं कहते बसु धैव कुटुम वो बसुदा के समस्त जीव को अपना एक परिवार समझते हम एक परिवार है हम कोई अलग नहीं लेकिन ये गुरु जी के अंदर में ये चीज देखने को मिलता था जो गुरुदेव पूरा दुनिया को ए, एक करके गुरुदेव ने चली सारा दुनिया को इसलिए गुरुदेव के पास में इतने लोग आए क्यों गुरुदेव के पास आने का कारण क्या था गुरुदेव के पास कारण ऐसे था गुरुदेव सबको अपना मानते किसी को गुरुदेव पराया नहीं मानते थे सबको प्यार करते थे सबको प्रेम करते थे प्रीति करते थे हैं इनके अंदर में ये बहुत बहुत गुण बहुत नजदीक में रह करके देखा हमने देखा अगर उनका कोई शिष्य है लेकिन गुरु जी के आदेश को पालन नहीं कर रहे गुरु जी के आदेश को पालन नहीं कर रहे लेकिन शिष्य है गुरुदेव का गुरुदेव का अपना शिष्य होने पर भी इतना महत्व तो नहीं देते थे लेकिन अगर देखते थे अगर दूसरे की कोई शिष्य है लेकिन उनका अंदर में भक्ति की भावना है सेवा की भावना गुरुदेव उसको महत्व देते क्योंकि गुरुदेव स्वयं कहते थे हमारी दो परंपरा है कहते एक शिष्य परंपरा और एक भागवत परंपरा है लेकिन गुरु जी के अंदर में जो भागवत जो परंपरा गुरु जी के अंदर में विशेष विशेष रूप में ये भागवत परंपरा का गुण गुरु जी के अंदर में दिखाई पड़ा है शिष्य परंपरा मतलब होता है ये मेरे शिष्य मेरे शिष्य मेरे शिष्य मेरे शिष्य जो भागवत परंपरा है ये शिष्य नहीं वो देखते थे मेरे शिक्षा को ठीक ठीक रूप में कौन ग्रहण कर रहा है इसको कहते हैं भागवत परंपरा इसलिए हमने उन्होंने देखा गुरु जी की एकदम नजदीक में रहते हुए हमने देखा है गुरुदेव ये चीज को विशेष करके गुरुदेव ने महत्व दिया ये भागवत परंपरा को गुरुदेव ने महत्व दिया इसलिए इसलिए हम इनके उदाहरण देते हैं गुरुदेव कैसे हैं गुरुदेव कहते गुरुदेव है कहते जैसे श्री जीव गोस्वामी परमान रख देना जब लोग संजीत कुछ रख लो जैसे लोग आ रहे हैं ना इसलिए गुरुदेव जैसे हम गुरुदेव को उदाहरण देते हैं जैसे श्री जीव गोस्वामी कहते जीव गोस्वामी के पास में जैसे नरोत्तम श्यामानंद श्रीनिवास कहते ये तीन महापुरुष इनके पास में आए लेकिन आप देखो तो इनका कोई शिष्य थे ही नहीं नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर का गुरुदेव लोकनाथ दास गोस्वामी श्यामानंद प्रभु का गुरुदेव है कहते श्री कहते इनका गुरुदेव श्री हृदय चैतन्य है कहते श्रीनिवास का गुरुदेव का कहते श्री गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी इस सब के सब दूसरे दूसरे के शिष्य थे लेकिन होने पर भी जीव गोस्वामी इनके अंदर में भेद भावना नहीं देखा गौर सुंदर प्रसाद दे दो इसलिए उन्होंने कोई भेद इनके अंदर में कोई नहीं देखा इन्होंने भेद नहीं देख करके सबको उन्होंने जथा योग्य उन्होंने सबको भक्ति शिक्षा और गोस्वामी वर्ग का जो शिक्षा जथा योग्य उनको अंदर में शिक्षा प्रदान की और ये तीनों ने क्या किया तीन दिशा में ये तीनों को भेजा है श्री श्रीनिवास आचार्य को उन्होंने भेजा भेजा बंगाल में नरतम को भेजा मणिपुर में श्यामानंद को भेजा हमारी उड़ीसा में कहते ये तीनों को उन्होंने तीन दिशाओं में भेजा और ये तीनों ने पूरा सारा दुनिया में ये हरी भक्ति को प्रचार और प्रसार किया देखो हमारे गुरुदेव भक्ति वेदास नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज इन्होंने भी ठीक वैसे ही किया इन्होंने इन्होंने जो अक्सर करके इनके पास में जो शिष्य जो प्रचार करने वाले जितने उनकी शिष्य है ज्यादा दूसरे के शिष्य जो प्रचार करने वाले जैसे देखो हमारे श्री पद्मनाभ महाराज भक्ति वेदान स्वामी महाराज श्री श्रौती महाराज श्री गौरव गोविंद महाराज का श्री आश्रव महाराज गौरव गोविंद महाराज शिष्य मुनि महाराज है उन्होंने भी गौरव गोविंद महाराज से शिक्षा को प्राप्त किया है श्री और हमारे श्री पद्मनाभ महाराज भक्ति वेदान से स्वामी महाराज के पास आए नेमी महाराज भक्ति वेदान स्वामी महाराज पैखाना से महाराज भक्ति वेदान स्वामी महाराज है जैसे मैं नहीं हूँ भक्ति श्री रूप सिद्धांति को स्वामी महाराज श्री सिद्धांति महाराज उन्होंने भक्ति प्रमोद गुरु गोस्वामी महाराज के शिष्य है 
श्री माधव प्रिय प्रभु भक्ति वेदांत कहते श्री मधुसूदन महाराज भक्ति जीवन जनार्थ गोस्वामी महाराज शिष्य ये भक्ति और माधव महाराज फिर हमारे गोविंद महाराज वन महाराज प्रेमानंद प्रभु तीर्थ महाराज ये किसका शिष्य है ये सब के सब भक्ति वेदांत शिला पावन गोस्वामी महाराज के आश्रित है लेकिन वो आश्रित होते हुए भी लेकिन सारे शिक्षा किसको प्राप्त होती किसे प्राप्त किया भक्ति वेदांत शिला नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज शिक्षा को प्राप्त किया और उन्होंने जो हमारी जो भागवत परंपरा है तो भागवत परंपरा भी इन लोगों ने नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज बावन गोस्वामी महाराज को कोई उन्होंने फर्क उन्होंने नहीं देखा गुरुदेव बोल कर भक्त ग्रंथ नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज को उन्होंने अपना गुरुदेव बोल करके उनका सम्मान देते कारण क्या कारण कभी गुरुदेव का जो हृदय है वो साधारण छोटा मोटा गुरुदेव का हृदय नहीं था कभी ये उदार चरित मना तो बस उनका हृदय में उदार था उदार होने के नाते विश्व ब्रह्मांड को उन्होंने अपना एक परिवार रूप देखा होने का नाते तुम लोग भी हैं हमारे श्री शशिकला दीदी और श्री दास प्रिया दीदी और श्री अनंग महिनी दीदी श्री और हमारे श्री क्या हमारे श्री श्याम सुंदर और और दूसरा भैया का ना हाँ कहते तुम लोग भी विजय प्रभु विजय प्रभु विजय प्रभु आप लोग भी पहले गौरव गोविंद गोसाई महाराज के पास में थे लेकिन आप लोगों का भावना क्या था जब गौरव गोविंद महाराज चले गए शशि कला दीदी सोचती थी और जगत में कोई गुरु नहीं है ना जगत में कोई गुरु नहीं है तीन कंदर केवल एक गौरव गोविंद महाराज थे इनको साथ में हम किसी को बराबर नहीं कर सकते लेकिन जब एयरपोर्ट में गए एक बार उन्होंने गुरु जी से मिले गुरु जी को मिल करके उनको क्या लगा सचमुच से गौरव गोविंद महाराज दो बार जैसे आ गए उनका जैसे गौरव गोविंद महाराज ने जैसे दो बार जगत में आ गए ये उनको अंदर में पूरा उनको देख करके पहला बार उनको देख करके लगा सचमुच से ये महान साधु है, है? महान साधु इसलिए उनको जो नीली नीली आग जो प्यारी भरी बच्चन उनकी जो मीठी मीठी भोली है जगत में ऐसे कोई व्यक्ति नहीं जो इनको पानी को द्वारा जिस जगत में आकृष्ट जिनको नहीं हुए इसलिए सबको उन्होंने आकृष्ट करके अपना चरण में उन्होंने सबको उन्होंने अपना चरण में स्थान दिया स्थान दे करके सबको उन्होंने भगवान की भजन में उन्होंने सबको उन्होंने लगाया भजन में इसलिए विश्व ब्रह्मांड उनके हुए अब विशेष करके श्री गुरुदेव हमारे हृदय में जो एकत्र प्रसाद उनके हृदय में हम लोगों का हृदय में गुरु जी ने एक महान वस्तुओं को देख रहे गए बोले क्या देख रहे गए बोले उन्होंने राधा दास्य रूपी जो बीज है ये बीज को गुरु पाद प्रतिमा हमारे हृदय में ये चीज को गुरु जी देख रहे गए ये जो हम लोगों के लिए एक बहुत बड़ी चीज है बहुत बड़ी चीज है क्योंकि गुरुदेव कहते थे इसी जीवन में अपना लक्ष्य को स्थिर कर लो एक जीवन में भले ही हमें जितने दिन में प्राप्त हो कोई बात लेकिन हमारी लक्ष्य को इसी जीवन में हमें अपना लक्ष्य को हमें स्थिर कर देनी चाहिए गुरुदेव ने हमारे हृदय में ये जो बीज को गुरुदेव को कर गए ये सबसे अनमोल और सबसे ये महान वस्तु गुरुदेव ने दिया इसलिए आज मैंने कथा में बोल रहा था राय रामानंद कहते हैं अगर जीवन में कृष्ण रस भाविता मती क्रियता कुत्ता भी जब लग सके है अगर ऐसे भक्त मिल जाए जिनकी रोम रोम से गुरुदेव ये श्लोक को प्राय करके गुरुदेव बोलते थे गुरुदेव प्राय करके ये श्लोक को बोलते थे जीवन में सबसे ज्यादा जो महत्व है तो ऐसे कृष्ण भक्त का संग गुरुदेव कहते कृष्ण भक्त का संग तो इतना महत्व है बोले जिसको द्वारा करोड़ों है भक्ति को द्वारा भी जो प्राप्त नहीं होता है वैष्णव संग से मिल जाता है लेकिन गुरुदेव कहते थे कृष्ण भक्ति रस भाविता मति का अगर इतना महत्व है अगर कोई राधा रस भाविता पति हो है राधा रस भाविता अगर अगर और कोई व्यक्ति अगर महाप्रभु की रस भाविता भक्ति हो है वो तो कितना महत्व है लेकिन हमारे महाराज दोनों चीज में एक तस्वीर राधा कृष्ण भक्ति रस में भविता विशेष करके राधा पक्ष उसको बाद में फिर महाप्रभु का लाइन में हमारे महाराज जी महाप्रभु का लाइन में आए और आज सब भक्त लोग सुना रहे थे महार महाराज का जो विशेष विशेष प्रवचन है महाप्रभु का जब नवदीप आते थे फिर राधा रानी का तीन स्वरूप बताते हैं संजोगनी बियोगनी वृषभानंदिन उसी तरह महाप्रभु का जीवन भी कहते थे महाप्रभु का भी संजोगनी बियोगनी वृषभानंदिन उसका जो गुरुदेव उदाहरण देते थे 
उसका उसका उसको प्रवचन में महाराज को बहुत बहुत गहरा से गहरा जो गुरुदेव जो भाव देते थे अद्भुत थी इसलिए हम उदाहरण देते थे गुरुदेव क्या है गुरुदेव के तो टच में जो आ गए ना कभी जिस गुरुदेव पारस मणि है इसे लोहे को स्पर्श कराओ तो वो लोहा बनाते लेकिन पारस मणि नहीं बनाता है लेकिन गुरुदेव सबको एक पारस पत्थर बनाकर गुरुदेव पारस मणि बनाकर गए जो गुरुदेव के पास में जो आए गुरुदेव का जो दर्शन किया गुरुदेव का जो संग किया गुरुदेव का जो हरि कथा सुने अभी विश्व ब्रह्मांड में गुरु जी की उसी भाव को विश्व ब्रह्मांड में सारे भक्त विश्व ब्रह्मांड में इसी चीज को गुरुपाद पद्म दे रहे हैं इसलिए गुरुदेव का तो बहुत कथा इतना कथा जितने कथा सुन सकते हमें तो इतनी कथा बोल सकता है जिसकी था नहीं गुरुदेव की लेकिन अभी प्रार्थ बहुत यहाँ पर हो रहा है इसलिए इसलिए आज मैं इतना बोल करके यहीं पर विश्राम देता हूँ अगर और कभी अगर बोलोगे तो फिर और में कभी बोल ठीक है ठीक है फिर और कभी अगर बोलना मेरे को बोलना मैं बोल दूंगा ठीक है आपके हृदय के बात हम लोग से कहा की कैसे गुरुदेव के आप मिला और कैसे आप श्लोका और कैसे आप सेवा सब कुछ करते थे और और श्लोका देखो और हमने जो मैं मैं जो इतना हरिकथा सुनाता हूँ थोड़ा ये गुरु जी कृपा एक बार क्या हुआ गुरुदेव जो मथुरा गुरुदेव मथुरा में रहते थे गुरुदेव के अंदर एक विशेष गुण था क्या गुण है सबको चाहते थे सब हरिकथा सीखे गुरुदेव मैं सारे गौड़ी मठ में घुमाऊ लेकिन दूसरे मठ में क्या होता अगर थोड़ी सी कोई हरिकथा सीखे ना उसको टांग पकड़ के हजना शुरू कर देते भले ही हमसे बड़े नहीं हो जाए लेकिन गुरु जी के अंदर विशेष गुण हमने देखा गुरु के अंदर में जिसको सिद्धांत तत्व दर्शन में जिसको जितनी रुचि गुरुदेव उसको इतना प्यार करते उतना गुरुदेव प्यार करते थे जो हमारे विचार सिद्धांत को जितना अच्छे तरह समझ पाए गुरुदेव क्योंकि गुरुदेव कहते थे जैसे पिताजी का संपत्ति पिता क्या चाहता है मेरे परवर्ती समय में मेरे संपत्ति को कौन रक्षा करेगा मेरे बिजनेस को कौन रक्षा करेगा हमारे गुरु जी का संपत्ति क्या है कोई ईट पत्थर हमारी गुरु जी की संपत्ति नहीं ये गुरु जी का संपत्ति गुरुदेव कहते थे उनका विचारधारा उनका सिद्धांत उनका तत्व ही इनका असली संपत्ति है गुरुदेव कहते थे अगर इसी विषय में जिसकी रुचि ज्यादा देखते थे गुरुदेव उसको उतना ही प्यार करते उतना ही गुरुदेव हाँ इसलिए गुरुदेव कहते थे गुरुदेव के पास मेरे पकड़ पर ध्यान मत दो रुपया पैसा में ध्यान मत दो फिर उसी में ही डूब जाओगे वो गुरुदेव कहते थे असली चीज गुरुदेव जो भक्ति दे रहे हैं विचार दे रहे हैं भजन दे रहे हैं वो धन में धनी बनने के लिए कोशिश करो है साधारण वस्तु में नहीं गुरुदेव बारम्बार ये चीज को गुरुदेव बारम्बार कहते थे गुरुदेव इसलिए कभी कोई तिथि आया भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर का तिथि गुरुदेव सब का शाम से देते थे तुम भी बोलो तुम भी बोलो जब आए बोले रसानंद तुम भी कुछ बोलो मैंने कहा गुरुदेव मैं नया नया आया था फिर मेरे को हिंदी नहीं आती थी ठीक से बंगला उड़िया जानता था गुरुदेव बोले मैंने कहा गुरुदेव मैं नहीं बोल सकता हूँ देव गुरुदेव बोले बोले तू मेरा आदेश पालन करोगे ना मैं तेरा आदेश पालन करूंगा है मैंने कुछ बोल नहीं पाया मैंने कहा मैं आपका आदेश पालन कर बोले खड़े हो जा फिर पहला बार गुरुदेव मेरे खड़े किए फिर शरीर से पसीना पसीना निकल गए क्योंकि वहां पर बहुत लोग बैठे हुए थे मेरे उम्र छोटा उम्र था बीस साल होगा उसमें भी बड़ा उम्र होगा इसलिए इतने बड़े बड़े वैष्णव गुरु जी उसको सामने बोलना कोई साधारण बात नहीं था फिर उस समय तो तरह से बोला फिर जब फिर बलदेव पिता पर उनका तिथि आया फिर गुरुदेव बोलते थे पहले जो व्यक्ति एक बार बोल दे उसको रिपीटेशन नहीं कर नया बात बोलना और बलदेव विद्या भूषण प्रभु का तो इतना सिद्धांत तत्व फिर उनको दो तीन भक्त तो खड़े कर दिया मेरे को बोले दसान तू भी बोल मैंने कहा गुरुदेव मैं नहीं बोल पाऊंगा बोले मंदिर में किस लिए आए खाने और सोने के लिए घर में खाना नहीं मिलता था घर में तो पिता माता का सेवा नहीं किया वहां भी धोखे दिए यहाँ भी गुरु पर उसको धोखा देने के लिए गुरुदेव ऐसे बोले यहाँ भी धोखे देने के लिए आए किस लिए आए मंदिर में क्या कर रहे हो तुम मंदिर में गुरुदेव सबको सामने इतने डांट लगाए मैं इतना डर गया हे भगवान में डर गया फिर क्या हुआ जब मैं बीस पंद्रह पंद्रह बीस दिन पहले अगर कोई तिथि आ जाए ना फिर मैं ग्रंथों को निकाल कर पढ़ना शुरू कर दूर गुरुदेव खड़े कर देंगे क्या खड़े कर देंगे क्या फिर मैं डर गया डर गया तो फिर मैं प्रिपरेशन करना शुरू करता था तो इसे करते 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 लास्ट में यही से हुआ जब कोई भी तिथि आता था गुरुदेव मेरे को पहले गुरुदेव रसानंद रसानंद रस वर्षा आएगा हाँ 
गुरुदेव कहते रसान तभी रस वर्ष आएगा सबसे पहले गुरुदेव मेरे को खड़े करते थे जब ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा होती थी गुरुदेव का सारी कथा को नोट करता था सारी कथा को नोट करता था मेरे गुरुदेव मेरे खड़े करते थे रसान तो बोलेगा फिर मेरे कथा को पूरा ट्रांसलेशन मैं जो कथा सुनाता था उसको अंग्रेजी में फिर ट्रांसलेशन उसी कथा क्योंकि मैं गुरुदेव से जो कथा सुनता था उसको पूरा मैं नोट करता था सारी कथा मैं नोट करता था सारी इसलिए गुरुदेव जब ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा ग्रंथ को उन्होंने करने के लिए कोशिश किया जानते रसान तो ट्रांसलेशन करता है तो गुरुदेव मेरे को बोले तू तो मेरी कथा को सारा ट्रांसलेशन करता था तेरे पास में नोट है मेरे को दोगे गुरुदेव बोले बोले क्या नोट तो मैं क्या करूँ ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा ग्रंथ का प्रकाश करूंगा उसमें नए नए देना चाहते ना जिसमें मैं कभी कभी क्या होता है जब मूड में होता है ना मूड का अनुरूप कथा निकलता है अलग अलग समय में गुरुदेव का अलग अलग मूड रहता था अलग अलग गुरुदेव बात करते थे इसलिए गुरुदेव मेरे को बोले मेरे पास कोई नोट है ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा ग्रंथ प्रकाश करना चाहता कोई नोट है मैंने कहा गुरुदेव हम तो वैसे ही थोड़ा थोड़ा हिंट दे करके जैसे होगा मैं वैसे ही थोड़ा हिंट दे दे कर लिखता हूँ और फिर मेरे बदलाव आशा है इसलिए में लिखा इसलिए अभी जो हम थोड़ा बहुत बोलने के लिए कोशिश करते हैं ये गुरुदेव का आशीर्वाद है गुरुदेव का कृपा है ये गुरुदेव का छिटा फोटा है एक आध को छिटा फोटा ही गुरुदेव का और गुरुदेव का अथा समुद्र है अथा समुद्र है गुरुदेव भक्ति नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज की ट्रांसलेशन करो ठीक है हाँ महाराज ठीक है धनपत प्रणाम महाराज Okay. Um, uh, so we have listened uh, uh, just now from Rahaj. So I'll try to uh, translate what he said. Uh, he was uh, continuing and saying that Guruda had uh, so much. He had uh, so mu- many speciality. And uh, like one was of the Spanish speciality was that he had um, not a small heart, but he had a very big heart. And uh, because um, he was saying everything big. Because uh, he was seeing all the devotees uh, who, are, who uh, came from an other guru who came, uh, took shelter at him, to him, he was seeing them as one family, and um, and uh, so that's why as many devotees came to know. So that's why so many devotees from different guru later on uh, came to uh, Shri Guru and took his shelter, and. Um, And uh, when uh, those devotees w- was taking shelter of him, uh, when he was Guru Dev was seeing uh, some seva adhikar, se- se- some seva mood in them, then Guru Dev was engaging him in some specific seva. And um, and Marhaj was saying from nearby, I saw. Um, uh, so I saw the importance which Sri Guru Dev was uh, uh, continuing, like the legacy was continuing of our Guru Parampara in this way. And um, he was explaining like an um, example of Jiu Goswami, like um, uh, and, uh, of Shamananda Prabhu Shinivas, and uh, they all had different uh, gurus, uh, and uh, like Shamananda, uh, and uh, like Sri Vas, uh, oh, something else. Like Sri Vas uh, Pandit, uh, his guru was Gopal Bhatta. So all these um, uh, gurus, they, uh, um, uh, so Jiv Goswami, they came to take shelter of Jiv Goswami, and um, even though they were of different gurus. And um, so, uh, so Jiv Goswami didn't saw uh, the difference between them, and uh, they, he, he saw them as their own disciple. In this way, Shri Guru Dev was um, seeing uh, everyone uh, as his own disciple, those who came to him. And um, so uh, he was saying that uh, Jiv Goswami uh, later gave order to Srinivas Prabhu to go to Nepal for preaching, Gopal Bhatta to Manipur, and uh, Shamananda. Uh, to Orissa, yeah, like that. And he was also mentioning that, um, so uh, you can see that Srila Gurudev has uh, many sannyasis, 
like um, of, uh, like those uh, devotees who came from um, Gorbinda Marhaj, like um, Srauti Marhaj, Muni Marhaj, they, um, uh, they were from Gorbinda Marhaj. After Gorbinda Marhaj went into Aprakatila, they came and took shelter of Srila Gurudev. And then like um, uh, Patmanama Marhaj, Nemi Marhaj, Vaikansh Marhaj, they are all uh, disciples of uh, Swami Marhaj. So after Swami Marhaj uh, went to, to, to Aprakatila, so then later on, um, uh, they came to Srila Gurudev to, uh, to take shelter of him. And like um, in this way, uh, like um, uh, Sridhar Marhaj, uh, his Gurudev was um, Bhakti Swarup Siddhanti Marhaj. So he also came to Srila Gurudev and this way took shelter of him. And um, like Madhuzun Marhaj, he also, he was, uh, his Gurudev was Jiva Janardhan Marhaj. And he also came to Srila Gurudev and took shelter of him. And like Tirta Mahaj, Shripad Tirta Mahaj, Shripad Ban Mahaj, Shripad Mahatma Mahaj, they are all disciples of uh, Raman Goswami Mahaj. They all came and took shelter at the Lotus Feet of Srila Gurudev and took Shiksha from him. So, um, so in this way, you can see that Srila Gurudev's heart was not uh, small. He had a big heart that even uh, Vishwa Brahmanda could fit in his heart, he was saying. So nicely he said that. And, um, and he was also mentioning about our family, like uh, when we um, when Shila, we also took shelter of Srila Gorgunda Marhaj, the whole family, and when he uh, uh, went into Aprakat Lila, and then, uh, um, then we went to the airport to receive Srila Gurudev, he also got attracted because of his beautiful eyes and his sweet smile and uh, his appearance, uh, very uh, um, uh, beautiful appearance and special appearance, we got also attracted to him and we also took shelter of him or our family. Yeah, because he said that because he was attracting everyone, of, he, wa he, he was saying that because he was, he was attracting everyone with his sweet voice and, and with his beautiful eyes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so, uh, and uh, so everyone, um, was eager to take a shelter at his lotus feet. And, um, and he was mentioning that Srila Gurudev, he came and to give us uh, something special that was he planted in us, the Radha, he gave us, uh, he planted in us Radha Dasya seed, the, the surface attitude to, to become the, the maid serpents, the Pavyadasya of Srimati Radhika. So he gave us that seed. And, um, and so he, why he did like that? Because he wanted us to become fixed in that and uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the surface of Shrimati Radhika. And, um, and uh, uh, he was also saying that, uh, he was mentioning about Rai Ramananda, that um, uh, um, when, we, when we find such a great, uh, when we take shelter of such a great um, uh, uh, personality as Sri Gurudev, then uh, our life uh, uh, is uh, becoming successful. And uh, because uh, Vaishnava Darshan and Vaishnava Seva, that is our life and so. And, um, and he was mentioning about uh, Radha Ras Bhavai Tub, what he was mentioning. And he was Radha Krishna Ras Bhav Bhavita. And he was mentioning about Radha uh, Ras Bhav Bhavita. Hey, Gurudev had that Radha Ras Bhav Bhavita. And he was, and also that, uh, not only that, uh, he was, Shiva Guru was also in the line of Mahaprabhu. And um, he was saying that uh, the specialty of Srila Gurudev, he was always uh, speaking about the specialty of, Shira, uh, of um, Radharani, about Sanyogini Radhadyogini, Radharani, and uh, Vishwabhami Nandini. He was explaining Samyogini, yeah? um, like uh, when Radharani was feeling separation, yeah? all the details he explained. And uh, the Yogini, uh, um, uh, the Samyogini is when Radha and Krishna is uh, meeting, and the Yogini when she's feeling separation, and also Vishwabhami Nandini. Uh, Radha Rani grew, um, was explaining also in details that Radha Rani, uh, the original Radha Rani, never leaves Braj. So that, that Radha Rani is Vishabhana Nandini Radha Rani. So he was giving a large explanation about this. And, um, and so Guru, Gurudev gave us a, a, a jewel, the jewel Pashmani. So everyone he, he touched became like, a, you know, that jewel. So that is, uh, in short, uh, about uh, what he said. Oh, there are more. <laughs> so let me see uh, what I noticed. Um, 
oh yeah, Maharaj was saying also, what is our spiritual business? Uh, he said, um, uh, because uh, like uh, in the, uh, in, um, like in office or, um, you know, uh, those who are working in ordinary work, they are also thinking um, like uh, when, uh, like a, uh, an ordinary person, when they are having business, then they were thinking, oh, we will, uh, you know, take over when I leave my body. So in this way, Guru was also seeing, uh, uh, so uh, who will follow my legacy after I will leave? So in this way, he was training everyone, you know, uh, to, um, um, learn slokas and also uh, go go deeper into the siddhanta and uh, you know to become eager in everything and learning uh, all, every all the teachings which he was explaining and uh, he and he was saying and gurudev um, those who who he saw was also doing his best in learning slokas and following and also uh, taking a deep dive uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, eagerly to learn uh, many things uh, about Tattva Siddhanta. He was uh, loving them so much. He gave so much love and affection. He was uh, he, uh, rewarding them with so much love and affection. And um, so, uh, and Guru Deo, all, all the, um, uh, uh, which I mentioned, uh, uh, which Maharaj mentioned, uh, all the devotees who came from different gurus, he was giving uh, also a um, chance to speak on his Guru Deo uh, Shila Keshav Goswami Maharaj um, appearance day or disappearance day. One time um, Maharaj said that uh, it was um, a disappearance day or appearance day of uh, Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. And he asked uh, Maharaj to speak on the day, but Maharaj, uh, he was new. So he said, I cannot speak. I don't know uh, better you ask uh, someone else. Then Maharaj said, if you will not follow my order, then I will also not listen to you. You have to uh, speak. Uh, so in this way, um, Maharaj each time noticed that during each lecture, he was asking each of the, um, like uh, all those who became, became no sannyasis, he was asking them uh, uh, to um, uh, speak Harikata. And also in the way that they should, they, uh, Guru Dev said to them, you should speak in such a way that you should not repeat what the previous persons uh, said. So each time you have to speak new, new things. So each time I said, we were preparing, you know, uh, each time when we, uh, there was like, a, a, uh, when he knew that there was a Pierce Day, like 20 days before, he started already with preparing everything uh, to speak nice nice things so in this way he, he, uh, he learned so much in this way and uh, and he made so many notes he said that uh, as one time Gurudev asked him can you give me your notes I want to see what you have written of me because it's time I'm seeing you preparing and you already made so many notes so maybe I can um, um, uh, uh, manifest a granta a scripture of that like that he was saying to Sri Patsuha Marhaj uh, so that is um, so that is uh, what uh, Mahaji was saying. I think that's all. Yeah, that is the end. Um, so uh, I think now it's time uh, to um, we should uh, end this now and uh, thanking all uh, uh, those who attended this. And very, we are very grateful to Marhaj, who, even though he's so busy there in Navadish, you saw so many time he had, uh, there was no, uh, the connection was not even uh, good. But still, you know, he, uh, on our request, he made time to give uh, us his mercy. And he's very special. And uh, we are very uh, indebted to him. And, and thank you all yeah, for listening. And if I have said something uh, wrong or something, then please excuse me. So I try to explain it as a good my best. So one chakra patru basis ki pasi nidhi vich pati tinam pao nidhi vich na bhi bhi. I don't know. Maybe Vijay want to speak and uh, with a few words or. Uh, it's almost time now, Didi. So uh, our suggestion is that uh, Mamta Didi will end this wonderful day with uh, her uh, beautiful kirtan. Uh, yes, that is also great. Where is yours? Haribo? Yes. I can see myself. <laughs> We can see oh. and we can hear you also. Sri Krishna Taitana Prabhunita Nanda Sri Advaita Ganada Sri Vizari Gaurabhakta Brenda 
Si Krishna tay ka na Pagunta ng una Si Edvay tagarada Si Pansari Tora bata brena Si Krishna tay ka na Pagunita ng una Si Edvay tagarada Si Pansari Tora bata brena Si Krishna tay ka na Pagunita ng una Si Edvay tagarada Si Pansari Tora bata brena Si Krishna tay ka na Pagunita ng una Siya pa'y tagaradang Siya sari Kung una ba kabenga Si Krishna tayo ito na Kabunita na Siya pa'y tagaradang Siya sari Kung una ba kabenga Si Krishna tayo ito na Kabunita na Siya pa'y tagaradang Siya sari Kung una ba kabenga Si Krishna tayo ito na
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Jai Guru Deva, Jai Guru Deva, Jai Guru Deva, Jai Guru Deva, Jai Pati Tapa, Jai Guru Deva, Jai Pati Tapa, Jai Guru Deva. 
गुरुदेव की जय थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू absolutely we went Ooh. yeah to surinam back to the netherlands again <laughs> this beautiful beach and this in this beautiful kirtan thank you so much thank you all devotees who are present here today uh, on this wonderful centennial program which we organize every two weeks um, uh, by uh, Gaudia Netherlands. Uh, every time we have new special guest speakers, international speakers, including Holland devotees who offer their pranams Puspanjali to the Lord's feet of Sheila Gurudil. We want to invite you, tomorrow starts uh, regiment, um, Naudwi Parikram, uh, and next Sunday we will have this very special Gaur Purnim celebration. So all are invited for this special day. It's Mahaprabhu's appearance day. Um, so it's a very auspicious, actually the most auspicious day because Mahaprabhu appeared on this earth uh, on this day, very day. In India, it's it's being celebrated really big and the Parikram is going on and many, many people are going there. But this year due to COVID situation, many people cannot go. So we invite everyone online. We will send all the details, what time the program will start and everything we will send to you. Thank you very much. Um, Jishikala, do you want to add something or can we? Well, Hare Krishna, thank you all. So I um, uh, hope we are all inviting uh, you all. We are inviting you all to uh, join our next program Sunday. So thank you for listening. And thank you, Mamta Didi, for your nice kirtan. Very special. Uh, Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat Pranam, we will end this meeting now. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.